hello and welcome back to my channel my name is rachel so today we shall be learning how to make an off shoulder booboo kaftan dress this is how you are going to fold your fabric so i'm only using this paper for illustration papers before we go into the main cutting on our fabric so on the hem which is the full length of your dress you are going to go up by 10 inches although it's actually optional the 10 inches line i'm going to mark my hip divided by 4 plus 5.5 i'll square it down to the hem then from the starting line i'm going to mark 12 inches down and then i'll connect it to the 10 inches line at the hem this is what we are going to have for both front and back after cutting up i folded my fabric and this is my starting line so i'm going to measure out the full length of my dress i'll move the down part closer to the camera so you see what i am doing at the hem which is the full length of this dress so now that i've adjusted it at the hem i'm going to go up by 10 inches now like i said earlier it's optional to go up by 10 inches but i don't want the cow effect to start exactly at the hem of this dress but if you want your own cow to start at the exactly at the hem that means you are going to ignore these 10 inches i'm going up by but if you don't want the curl effect to start at exactly the hem then you're going to do this i hope this explanation is clear enough having connected the markings i'm going to mark my hip divided by four can you see so i'm going to mark my hip divided by four whatever value you have you impute it I'm going to add extra five and a half inch to my hip measurement. The reason I'm adding this is, is for ease. So I'll be able to work freely. So you can go ahead and add six inches, seven inches, eight inches, depending on what you want and the adage of fabric that you have. So I'm going to repeat exactly the same thing at the hem of this dress. So for this particular dress I'm making, I actually used less than three yards. So this less than three yards didn't give me a full long sleeve. But if you want a full long sleeve, you can go ahead and make use of three yards. So three yards is just okay or three and a half yards or, or three and a half yards. Yes, is quite okay. But for me, I had um two yards, 21 inches of fabric. So I just had to make use of it. So now I'm going to connect like so. So if you want a curl effect you can go ahead and instead of connecting straight you can curve it a little bit so after cutting out the starting line of this measurement i'm going to come down by 12 inches now this 12 inches is for my sleeve opening but then again i realized that the 12 inches was way too open remember the shoulder is going to be open as well so the 12 inches i considered it being too open so i'm going to reconnect it like so if you're making yours you can make use of nine inches for your sleeve opening or at most 10 inches i consider 12 inches being too open for me it's going to be showing your skin on the inside considering that the shoulder is going to be open it was after making the dress that i realized that 12 inches was way too wide for a sleeve opening considering that the shoulder was going to be open too so if you don't mind your skin showing you can actually use this or you can use the pistol to wear it so after cutting out this is what i have for both front and back and yes the shoulder is going to be straight we are not doing any alteration or any changes at the shoulder area so we are going to leave it straight to join this the first thing we are going to do is to hem the shoulder so we are going to pick one the, that is the front and fold in and fold over again just the way we hem the down part of our dress or the sleeve so just fold first fold over again and then you go and stitch we are going to repeat the same thing for the other part as well after sewing this is what i have can you see i've hemmed it it's going to be straight so the next thing we are going to do is to hem the sleeve so remember where our sleeve opening stopped so you're going to pick each piece and hem the sleeve openings separately 
so if you have watched this video to this extent please like share comment and most importantly do not forget to subscribe and to all my returning subscribers thank you and to the new subscribers please do well to subscribe so after hemming the sleeve opening this is what i have can you see so for each piece this is what it looks like so the next thing we are going to do is to match this up join the fabrics together right sides facing each other so you are going to measure out the center front for these two piece so i have a crease line there indicating that is where my center front is so i'm going to mark half of my shoulder measurement which is 15 inches divided by two is seven and a half inch i'll go to the other side i'm also going to mark seven and a half inch now if you want it to drop very well on your shoulder go ahead and use your round shoulder measurement divided by four that is the measurement you are going to use for yours which means if your round shoulder divided by four is 11 inches you are going to mark 11 inches on both sides and then you top stitch so after top stitching this is what the sleeve opening is going to look like you are also going to go ahead and join the sides together and also hem the down part so after doing all this this is what i have can you see now at the shoulder area i made alteration there so i had to overlap the shoulders together and then i top stitched instead of the previous technique i showed us which is like joining it together and sewing to look funny just overlap it together pick one piece pick the other and overlap it just put it on top of each other and sew it down it came out finer and it was laying very flat on the shoulder too so this is what i have can you see I also fixed my belt. I have a tutorial on how to fix belt on a booboo -boo dress. So you can go ahead and watch it. I'll put the link in the description box. I hemmed the down part and then I'm going to try it on. So this is it. Can you see how nice and beautiful this is looking? Oh my God, it's so fine. And this is a Dutchess silk. This is really beautiful. Can you see? And you can style this in so many ways. You can drop the shoulder a bit, you can make the shoulder equal, you can adjust the shoulder to come closer to your neckline and it will give a cow effect at the front and you can also rock it without a belt. So please do well to give this video a thumbs up, like, share, comment and most importantly do not forget to subscribe.